Joe Rogan, biggest podcast in the world, home gym owner. Yes, he has multiple home gyms, including gyms at his studio. Recently had somebody on, in addition to many of the fitness people he has, but it was Ben Patrick from Knees Over Toes Guy. Ben Patrick has really been revolutionizing the way people train with sleds. I've started to do it. I noticed that Joe Rogan posted on his Instagram that he got a Torque Tank MX at his own home recently and said he was loving it. So today I wanted to talk about it, talk about my experience with it, talk about why so many people are using it and compare it to a normal weight sled. Hey guys, it's Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. And if you're new here, we review gym equipment, specifically home gym equipment. So if you like home gyms, you like home gym equipment, you may like me, maybe not, but you should subscribe to find out. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and comment what you think of this video. And if you like this sort of video, because we would like to cover other people's home gym tools that are in the media. And this one specifically is from Joe Rogan. Now, many of you are probably aware of Joe Rogan in some capacity. You either love him or hate him. I'm not gonna talk about any of that. I just wanna talk specifically a tool that he uses and some of his guests use. And that is this right here. This is the Torque Tank Sled MX. They've got other ones like the M4 and the M1. I've got the M1 in my garage. This one is the big boy. This is the most expensive. The cost is no object. The best weight resistance sled that is on the market. Most sleds that you see out in the market and in home gyms is a weight resistant sled. So they're basically taking a flat piece of metal, they're putting in a press brake to bend it, and then it's just a sheet of metal that's in rubbing on concrete. The biggest problem is if you live in an HOA, you're technically not allowed to do it. Your neighbors will dislike you from the noise. I've gotten yelled at from using sleds before, and so I decided I was no longer gonna use sleds, but I was gonna use something else. This is using magnetic resistance. And so within this one and this one over here is essentially a flywheel of some sort with magnets that's pressing against it and therefore like making it harder to push against. The reason that's nice is because it's pretty much noiseless. And in fact, this one's unique in that the harder you push against it, the harder it resists you, but it allows you to do it in a way that's quiet, but also anybody can use it from somebody who's not very strong, who's just started training, or an elderly person. I've seen elderly people on these that just push them to somebody who's just like an absolute all out athlete like Sam. <laughs> Now, one reason these have gotten popular is Ben Patrick from Knees Over Toes Guy. Ben Patrick has this program called ATG, and it's essentially a program that helps people get over knee issues. And he's found that a lot of people have knee problems, and one of the ways that he improves that is by getting their knees over their toes. That's why he's called the Knees Over Toes Guy. And one way that you're able to do that with resistance is with sled drags and sled pushes. So when you're pushing, you're building the foot, you're pushing up against it. And then when you're dragging, you're able to bring your toe behind the front of your knee and then push backward, which just like absolutely destroys the quads, but also pumps a ton of blood into the knee and therefore like is very restorative. It's something that I've added in my training and I've been doing it about six months or so. And honestly, my knees feel as healthy as they ever have been, but weight sleds can be difficult to use. And that's why something like this is so great. But what separates this one from that one over there and some others that are out on the market is the amount of resistance that this can produce. Now, there are some things that are changed about it. Obviously, the look. Most of tank sleds are using a dark gray powder coat. This is a light gray powder coat. So aesthetics may be a little bit different. The other thing is the handle situation. So these handles are removable, can be placed in the inside and then placed in here. They are actually significantly heavy. When you push on this thing, it just feels very solid. In addition to that, it has magnetic resistance on both axles. So this axle has one here, this one does as well. That allows it to have increased resistance while also allowing it to stay straight. Sometimes with these over time, when you start pushing them, they can veer to the left or the right if there's resistance only on one side. I've noticed this has really helped that. Also, it has wider, bigger tires. I wouldn't do this off-road. I think concrete's really the best solution or turf, but if you want to, I guess you could go off-road, but this just, because it's bigger, wider, has bigger lugs, it has more surface area, so it stays down more. In addition to that, it has these 
hooks here on the front and the back that rotate, which allow you to both use as push handles if you want at different angles, but also allows you to attach things like battle ropes or sled drag carabiners, things like that, so you can increase the versatility of the machine. Okay, now what's a video about Joe Rogan that's not sponsored by on it, yes, <laughs> I'm serious. This video is sponsored by On It, and specifically On It's Alpha Brain. You know those times when you're at your most productive, when everything you're doing just feels like it falls into place? Psychologists call that the flow state. And Alpha Brain from On It is the ultimate way to get there. Alpha Brain improves cognitive functions, including memory, mental speed, and focus. It can help you remember product specs like three by three squat racks and power bar knurling, and most importantly, think more clearly under stress. Now the video this is about is about Joe Rogan and his sled, and Joe Rogan is known for taking Alpha Brain, even helps him form better sentences when talking, because why save many word when few word do trick? Now if you'd like to try Alpha Brain, you can save 30% and get a free gift, unfortunately, it's not a barbell, maybe next time, by going to onit.com backslash GGR. Now, back to talking about Joe Rogan's weight sled. So the reason this doesn't need weight horns is because number one, it's just really heavy. So it's 244 pounds. That's a big, heavy piece of machinery that you also have to move around all the time. So that's keeping it down. Now you could add more weight here. They have spots for weight horns, or you could put sandbags and things like that in the middle because it's got kind of this storage area. But the other reason that it's able to have resistance no matter which side you're on is because when you push against it, even if you lift up the back wheels or you pull it, you lift up the front wheels, it's still able to have contact with the ground on one of the axles. And one of those axles at all times is gonna have resistance because each axle has its own magnetic resistance on it. But the most significant thing about the MX that separates it from its you know, counterparts is this here. This is called the MX mode. So the way that you adjust the resistance is you have a neutral level one, level two and level three, they don't give like a specific pound resistance, which it'd be kind of nice if there was some sort of like exact resistance rating that was there. But I understand not because the harder you push against it, the more resistance it is, you're only gonna go so fast. And even when you try sprinting at these high levels, man, it burns. But the thing that this offers is even more resistance. But wait, there's more. This one has 25% more resistance. By the way, this is a knurl knob. Can you get in here and just show the beautiful knurling that's on here? And then you can pull this back. And now it has 25% more resistance. And you can adjust on both slides. And now you're as resisted as you'd ever want to be. So to like bring it back, do I expect Joe Rogan to be using this? Yeah, probably quite a bit. It seemed like he was pretty convinced by Ben Patrick when he had him on his show, like this is something that he should add to his training. I've seen a ton of people benefited by ATG and Knees Over Toes guy. I'm a fan, I've been using it. This is honestly the best way to use it. There are other sleds out on the market. We actually have a comparison between the Torque Tank M1 as well as the Zebex XT3, which is a much better price point. But if you're looking for the magnetic resistance sled, basically a sled that doesn't make a lot of noise that has high resistance and you can use anywhere and you just don't care about the price you just want the best one that's on the market it's the one that joe rogan has it's this one it's the torque tank mx this thing is freaking fantastic now that's not to say it doesn't have any cons for most people the m1 is probably the best for home gyms the problem with the m1 for those that are doing like reverse sled drags because of the connection point to whatever the harness you're using is can lift that front wheel off and that's where the resistance is coming. It can sometimes be difficult to use for reverse sled drags, which is what most people are using sleds for that are following like the knees over toes guy method. Because of that, I think the M4 is a good option. M1 is still probably the best option because it's cheaper. It takes up less space. And if you want to get over that wheel rising, you just put more weight on it. It can be annoying, but that's the workaround. If you're just looking for this style, which this can be kind of annoying because it takes up a lot of space. Not only that, but to like maneuver it, you got to deadlift it, move it over. Whereas with the M1, it's a tripod design, so you can simply move it, pull it back very easily. It's the most mobile of them. If you want a quad style, then I would go up to the M4 and that's like their value of the four wheel style. 
and I think is as close to this as you really need to get without having to spend a bunch of extra money. And I would really only recommend this one if you just want the one that Rogan has or you just want the best that's on the market. So this is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. Are you looking for a weight resisted sled? Let us know in the comments. What do you think about this one in comparison to the other ones that are on the market? We'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you.